Hello and welcome to Vincent at Jest. What's a Vincent at Jest? The Vincent at Jest is that Vince will never finish Infinite Jest. So get over it. Uh, what am I going to do today? I'm going to show you guys my home library. It's not really a library, but I have books scattered across the house and I'm going to show you. So without further ado, here it, here it, here it do, here it go. I got classics, fantasy, sci-fi, the works, nonfiction, stay tuned, minute, minute goes by and then boom. All right, guys, first up we got the, uh, on top of my bed shelf and I'm gonna go up there and get it. All right, so this is my bed. It's just a bed, don't, don't get any ideas. And here's my on top of the book, on top of the bed books. Let's see, I'll get up there. I'll just take them off, I'll just take them off. We'll just get get oh ah oh ah oh god oh Terra Nostra this is a beautiful beautiful book oh it's this is like one of the most amazing books I've ever read in my life Carlos Fuentes and it's a beautiful cover too uh I can't talk about this enough it's a great if I remembered enough, I would make a video about it, but my, my leg, my leg hurts. I slammed it on the bedpost. Ah, oh, my leg. Carlos, that's such a great book. All right, now I've had time to recover. I bashed my leg really good on my bed and it hurts, but I am fine. I am a man. I don't take shit from no one. And we're gonna keep rolling with this. So, let's see, we covered Terra Nostra. What is this? Oh, God, the zoom. Cut. There we got Fiction, Collected Fictions by Borges. I haven't read this. It was a gift from Patrick. Decided to read it this year, maybe. It has fixiones and you know what, other things. Let's see this. A Prayer for Owen Meany, my mom gave this to me, haven't read it yet. Crying of Love 49, Patrick gave this to me. Uh, weird, weird. It was pretty good though, I liked it. What is this? The Education of Little Tree by Forrest Carter, same boat as this one, mom gave it to me. Still gonna read it later. Oh, this one. East of Eden, John Steinbeck. Read two Steinbecks, not this one. I've heard it's good. Godfather, Mario. I haven't read it. Ah, oh, my channel. Yeah. I read a little bit. I wonder if my bookmark's in there. Yeah. Page 135. Dubliners, James Joyce. I read The Dead, The Last Story in December because it was Christmas. And it was it was decent. I'm sure one day I'll read these, but um, yeah, it was okay. There's another one. There's a bookmark. Oh, this book's old as hell. The Anatomy of Revolution by Crane Brinton. It's I picked it up because it was cool looking. It was at this museum free library. And I read a little bit of it, but I'm I'm not I'm not reading it yet. And that's my top of the bed shelf, which is on the floor. And now you're wondering what what do you keep the books where do you keep the books next to the bananas? What is what's that all about? And I'll say the 
The books next to the bananas I don't really want, but I have them. This is a... What is this? The N.K. Jemison series. A Darker Shade of Magic by Schwab. Shadow and Bone, and then the Shadow and Bone 2. I bought these when I was interested in fantasy, but now I'm not interested in reading these, but... I keep them next to the bananas in the corner of my bedroom. Here is my my office. I keep many books on my desk because I either want quick access to them or I don't know, they're there. Here they are. Let's see. Um it's a notepad. We got I'm reading this right now. History of the Modern World by R.R. R. Palmer. Also edited by Joel Colton. Uh, I'm just reading this for fun. I got my notepad here, just taking a little bit of notes. This, that's my journal. Old journals. Um, this is a great book here. I've never read anything better. It's not pocket sized at all. Um, this picture Dorian Gray recently read this probably my second favorite book of all time now it's out still because I need to review it um, not gonna talk about this book if you know you know I'm reading it currently see I'm also reading this currently reread annual reread Marcus Aurelius meditations possibly the greatest I don't want to say greatest one of the most impactful texts to ever come out of the world. And then I literally just reviewed this today on Goodreads, Screw Tape Letters by C.S. Lewis. Um, I feel like all this shit is blurry. Uh, this is awesome, like a theology satire from the perspective of a tempter from hell. It was awesome. Let's see, I got a stack here. That book looks pretty, I'm never gonna read it. Robert E. Lee, I'm from Virginia. Um, up yours if you don't like Robert E. Lee. These two books looked cool and I was hungover and I bought them because they were pretty. Not gonna read them. Rosamund Pike, I will read this eventually. Now here's one of my TBR sticks. I uh, got some Bradbury, Carol, How to Teach Your Cat About Gun Safety, and McConaughey's Memoir. And next we got uh, my philosophy shelf. Got Aristotle, Sartre, I read this one. Seneca and Epictetus, two Stoics, awesome, awesome, five stars each. Got a couple of Nietzsche compilations. I read a little bit, just some aphorisms. I haven't really gotten into Nietzsche yet. Um, probably my next philosophy read after meditations will be Myth of Sisyphus by Albert Camus. And then I also have The Rebel. These are both essay collections. Then I have Confessions of St. Augustine. Uh, I read over half of this in March, but I haven't continued. Not because I didn't like it, I just got out of the habit. And then, got a classical TBR, uh, Wazell, Salinger, what is it? Harper Lee, Bulgakov, Golding, Camus, Nabokov. Yeah. Uh, next up, we got some recent acquisitions. Dr. Zivago. Um... This Jewish guy, Selected Stories. It's where Fiddler on the Roof comes from. Chaucer's Major Poetry. This shit's in Middle English. And a bunch of Penguin Classics that I just bought. Duma, Duma. Really excited to read both of these. And I got uh, Sir Walter Scott, Waverly. It's his first novel, I think. And John Bunyan, Pilgrim's Promise. Look at this cover. It's wacky. It's weird. And that's all I have in my room. Can't forget the llamas. The llama. The llamas. And also I have a bunch of old comics too. 
in like the 70s. They're pretty cool. I've read them a bunch, so that's okay. Oh, I got a big ass bump on my leg. You can't really see it, but it's lumpy and big. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this here and we'll make a part two. We'll do part two of the upstairs later. Now you may be wondering, oh Vince, Where's your Jim Butcher books? I thought you had Dresden and Codex Alera. I thought you were really into those books. Fuck those books. I'm not talking about them.